Yes, uh, bringing you a quick replay of uh, Thomas Rose's build uh, in Dueling Book. I'm playing one of the better players uh, in Dueling Book. He's like top 20 or something like that. He's very solid. Uh, he's always at the top uh, ranks every season, so yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I Since I'm playing Thomas Rose's build, I, I choose to go first when I win the die roll. And uh, pretty good hand. I, I, I gotta admit, um, second slide into a uh, Rhino. Now, I was wondering on whether uh, using second slide here was correct or not, uh, because I, I might get a Farfa to put underneath the Beatrice. It, it's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Um, theoretically, it should be. I should do second slide here in retrospect and, and going by the result of this game, second slide second slide was fine, um, being used later on. So anyways, um, yeah, pretty standard stuff here. Uh, mill three get kind of unlucky get get unlucky like I'm I, I'm not milling mare mare but I'm not milling anything good either. Uh, he lets me graph and ashes the graph which is the correct play. So now I'm just uh, forced to, you know, uh, Skarman pass. Now, this is why I think second slide could have been correct, because if I if I used second slide beforehand, I would have a knowledge underneath the, the Dante, which is pretty solid. It's not like... Just in this scenario, it, 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 it would not matter. And in fact, I think it would be actually bad for me. But in general, I think... I should have used second slide uh, earlier. Anyways, uh, not doesn't matter that much. I get the Beatrice and the Heather Lander. So I'm, I think I'm pretty much set. Thunder Dragon doesn't have that much of a reach. Uh, they won't be able to OTK through this board. And yeah. Uh, standard Batman, Batman Solar. Now I'm thinking he's just gonna go uh, uh, Hawk, but he actually uses Brilliant Fusion. So right, right here, uh, the obvious place to just Beatrice the the Prismaria uh, and win the game, so to speak. It's obvious that he has Call by the Grave or uh, what's the, uh, the 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 Ghost Bell. Nobody's running Ghost Bells anymore, or at least uh, there are way less Ghost Bells than there were before. So I pretty much read the Call by the Grave. And I realized that if I want to make the um, the snow try to punch through, I should use Highlander effect uh, just so I get more cards into the graveyard. So I use the the Beatrice, put the snow into the graveyard, and then use the in the next chain use the Highlander to mill three. Now, since I mill a Rhino, and I kind of want to use the, the Highlander pop just in case, uh, I do chain uh, Snow to it, which, in retrospect, yeah, I think, yeah, it was, it was good. Uh, I get the pop, which is, which is good. Anyways, he plays the, the obvious Call by the Grave, because uh, if he didn't have it, he would have lost. So, so I decide that I'm not gonna chain snow to call by the grave because I only have seven cards that I can banish with eight cards that I can banish uh, so that would leave me with only Beatrice and with Beatrice and snow it's kind of hard to o to OTK because then Beatrice has to send um, the strudo and I have to draw non BA for me to for for that to work just it's a lot of things that need to go right well the Beatrice send the Strudo that's easy but then drawing a non BA you know if, if that doesn't happen then he can just draw an out or just flip Prisma Ariana's turn and, and just go off so I decided that that is way too risky you know uh, I have the Rhino going off I have the the whole Highlander thing and even if he builds a board on me He's not gonna OTK me, uh, so yeah, I'm fine with it. Um, yep, it all resolves, and uh, the Hatterlander resolves. I pop, I think I pop the Battleman Solar, it's an effect monster, oh no, I actually uh, pop the Prismaria, yeah. 
uh, the reason I brought the Prismari is because I read that he has no like revival thing, right? No or n no Thunder Dragon effect to activate from his hand, but he did have you know something to banish with the Prismaria, uh to go into Titan. That's why I I decided to kill the the Prismaria with um, Highlander, and then after that. Uh, Rhino will take care of uh, w with the Vatterman Solar. So even if he does have a, a Thunder Dragon effect in hand, he's just not gonna be able to play. He does have the second call by the Grave, so I'm very very lucky that I decided not to use the second Snow because I was not considering the second call by the Grave. I only considered, um, yeah, that that scenario that I talked about before. So yeah, I was kind of lucky, and he banished the Farfa. Also kind of lucky because uh, I decided to leave a Farfa in my graveyard after uh, using Snow. Uh, knowing full well that I was going to send another Farfa. I don't know why, that was a pretty big mistake, but um, which is actually going to save me later on, so to speak. Uh, it actually won't matter, but it could have mattered. Uh, I'll show you in a second. So anyways, he does have a Thunder Dragon. Um, he uh, misclicks and gets two. He only won at one. And yep, pretty much from here is uh, he can just go off. Thunder Dragons are insanely uh, powerful because uh, they can go off with just one card. Uh, the the Colossus, thus uh, you know, given the the engine that he needs to banish the roar, and you know, this is pretty standard dra uh, Thunder Dragon stuff from here. If you've ever played Thunder Dragon, you know, you you really don't need any explaining. And you, I, I knew full well that he could wipe my board here due to the, the Thunder Dragon in his hand. But um, I thought that he wouldn't have the balls to kill Beatrice, you know, just in case I had a uh, Pilgrim. But it is kind of obvious that I'm playing that Thomas Rose build. So yeah, I, I might just put in Pilgrim again uh, just to mess with people's heads. Uh, and yeah, Beatrice dies, but I get two BAs. Uh, one in the form of Dante and the other one from my graveyard. It's pretty good. And yeah, he has to end his turn right here on Double Colossus time. This is uh, this is very hard to OTK through. Um, but I have a lot of resources, so I I'm in a position where if I'm not able to OTK, I could probably you know get uh, at least a a uh, Borderload Dragon to to get the Titan, but then he could get the Borderload Dragon, my Borderload Dragon. So so right here I'm I, I don't know what I'm I'm gonna do, but I do I do top deck the Orbital Highlander. So if anything goes bad, I'll just Borderload Titan, and then with the Highlander I'll I'll try to kill the whatever Link to he has in play, so he doesn't go into Borderload. Now. What I'm thinking right here is that um, it doesn't matter what line of play I try to do. The first thing that I need to get is a link to right here, because uh, either for going into Curious or for going into Borload, it's all gonna be the same. So yeah, I I normal summon the graph to get the link to. Uh, the reason I normal summon graph is because I'm I'm. Whether I the two lines of play that are in my head right now is either to go into the Borderload play that I mentioned or going to Curious Mill, uh, what's his face, um, uh, the Strudel, and you know try to get uh, the Jassy, uh, Jassy value. In both the scenarios, I'm gonna need three dark uh, monsters with different types, and the the graph will summon a Livic, which will die, and then that will get me the the Alec from hand, which does trigger later on, and lets me get rid of one of the Colossus. Again, what I want to do is get rid of as many of his monsters as possible, so he does not use uh, Boral Load on me later on. Um, so yeah, I get back the Dante, Graf summons the Livic, Livic summons the Alec, and then I special summon the Highlander just in case here, because I know that he has no disruption, so it doesn't matter when I summon it, but just in case I, I want to summon it now. 
Um, then I use an SC. This is a little bit of um of a miscommunication going on. I, I end up throwing the dice. He complains about it. We call a judge, and the judge basically forces me to go back, which kind of sucks. But I get lucky, and uh, he does uh, choose the seer in my hand, so everything goes uh, everything goes is perfectly because this is the the best result that I could have gotten. Anyways, um, seer will trigger uh, getting me um, getting me uh, Dante, and right here I'm in a very powerful spot because I have a non BA. Level, uh, level 3 monster, which will work with the Destruder that I'm gonna send off of a... Uh, off of... Um, Kyrgyz. So yeah. Uh, this is pretty much game. Uh, right here. Uh, and then the Kyrgyz will send... Uh, will send the, the Strudo. Alich touches the, the Coloss this Colossus, so that it's, uh, it loses its protection effect, and yep, I just go off right here with uh, a standard Jesse play. Jesse, of course, destroys the, that Colossus, and here was where I make a little mistake. It didn't matter in this situation because I just countered the numbers and realized that I had OTK doing this, but I could have done this a little bit, um, a little bit better. Anyways, uh, I do the mirror mirror thing, and I link away this three into unicorn to get rid of the to get rid of Colossus. Now Titan can actually be killed by battle. Uh, he doesn't have battle protection, and my plan was to simply Boral Sword take half of the attack. And, see, and since he has six seven uh, seven six hundred, uh, Boral Boral Sword has enough attack to to get him to zero with uh, the help of a Highlander. Now, if I simply made uh, Phoenix with two tokens uh, right here, I could pop this one, uh, ban banish uh, Colossus with Farfa, and I would have a Link 2, which, uh, like I've said before, it's super good to go into World Sword. So, yeah, um, it ends up not mattering because uh, the unicorn does uh, get the the colossus out of the way, and then with uh, Mare Mare, you know, I get the token, I get the link four, three four, Boral Sword, I go into the battle fit, yeah, and it's it's much it's pretty much GG from here. Sadly, um, game two he he bricks and there's he just sets a monster and passes, so so there's really nothing to come in here. I just wanted to show you this replay because it's. I think people go blind second way too much, and this deck has really, really decent interaction when it goes first. Um, just being able to pump out, I don't know, like two or three interactions while keeping five or, or like something almost like, like four or five cards in your hand, or keeping that Destrudo and uh, snow and graveyard so that if they don't kill you you're just gonna kill them through stuff like Jossie. Uh so yeah it's, it, I think it, that replay showed you that uh, going first and burning abyss is a pretty good strategy I personally uh, made some changes to the to the Thomas Rose deck I added uh, stuff like uh, Ash Blossom because I think it's, it's just that good but uh, definitely Try that, uh, Thomas Rosebell. Uh, try to just go first, uh, see what you can do. Topologic Bomber Dragon, uh, maybe Topologic Trisbania, and just uh, yeah, put up those replays uh, on YouTube, guys, uh, so we can all see them, comment, and see whatever mistakes uh, there are. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time.